Hello and welcome to this Swift tutorial and in this video we are going to take a look at the long press gesture recognizer. So this is a feature that you can use for a lot of things and for those who aren't familiar with it it's when you not press on the screen but hold it for a couple of seconds like one two three seconds so long press and then we're going to use that in order to perform, uh, perform a special function. So in this particular video we're going to use the long press gesture recognizer in order to recognize first of all when the user holds down uh, a certain amount of time but then also place an annotation on the map when that gesture is recognized so that's what we are going to do in this video and if you're interested in knowing how to do that then i would encourage you to keep on watching but the first thing that we are going to do is we're going to jump over to xcode and we're going to create a new xcode project and this is going to be a single view application and I'm just going to call this long press gesture recognizer LPGR next and then I'm just going to save it on my desktop and then the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to jump straight over to our storyboard here and then I am going to lay it out so what I mean by laying out is simply dragging in a map so I'm going to search up, let's see, let's head over to the objects. And I'm going to search for a map and then I'm going to drag that in so that we can display a map and the user will be able to place an annotation just like that. And then I'm just going to play some constraints also here. I'm going to have zero there, zero there, zero there, zero there, and then adjust to the constraints. So here I have my map. And now let's bring up our assistant editor on our right side here so that we can drag in our map view and call it whatever we want to. I'm just going to call it my map view, not MPA view, but map view. There we go as an outlet and just import that. And then we can jump over to our view controller because now we are done with our storyboard. So as you can see, we have a slight little error here, and that's because we need to import our map kit. So this will allow us now to work with our map view. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to uh, create a function that's going to be called when our user uh, performs that long press. So that's the first thing that we're going to, do, going to do. We're going to create a function that's going to place the annotation. And then later on, we're going to take a look at how we connect that up with our gesture recognizer. So I'm just going to call this func add annotation. And it's going to accept a press and then which is going to be of type UI long press gesture recognizer. And then what we're going to check for, the first thing that we're going to check for is if it has been a long press. So we're going to say if press dot state. So here we can check for the, t uh, for the state of the press. And it goes through uh, numerous of states. First active, began, canceling, canceled. And we can use all of them in order to, to perform a certain task when a certain state is uh, active. Uh, but this time we are just going to use began which means we are going to perform our piece of code when the long press gesture recognizer begins and as you will see we can uh, we can adjust when it should begin uh, by giving it a couple uh, we can actually tell the long press gesture gesture recognizer how many seconds it should wait before it fires and begins so that's what we're going to do later but now let's just take a look at how we place our annotation we first of all get our location, which is which we're going to store in a constant uh, named location, and we get the location by saying press dot location in our uh, my map view. So we're basically taking the location based on where on the map our user touches. Then we can extract the coordinates from that place coordinates which is then going to be equal to my map view dot convert and we can now convert let's see which one we want we want to coordinate from this one and our point is equal to let's see it's equal to location and we want to take the coordinates from my map view 
So here we're basically extracting the place where the user touches. Then here we are turning that place into coordinates. And then the next step we can do is we can create our annotation. So let annotation is equal to mk point annotation. And then we can add some funky stuff to it by saying annotation dot coordinate is equal to the coordinates that we defined above. And then we can also add a title. So why not do that? Annotation dot title is equal to my fa favorite place. And then we can say annotation dot subtitle is equal to uh, this is my favorite place. Okay, and so here we have set up our annotation and then the only thing that we have left to do is to say my Matthew dot add annotation annotation and the annotation that we want to add is our annotation constant just like that. Uh, so here what we have basically done, we have extracted the coordinates, we have created an annotation, we have given that inf uh, annotation some info, and then we have added it to our map view. Now this function uh, performs uh, beautifully, it does hopefully exactly what uh, we want it to do right here. But now all that remains is calling it. And of course we want to call it when our user performs that long touch gesture. Right? When our user performs the long, long, uh, long durational touch press. So let's set that up and we do that within the view did load function. So all we do here is we start by creating our long press gesture recognition. I'm just going to call it that, which is going to be equal to a UI long press gesture recognizer. And here, as you will see, we are able to define our target and our action target is simply going to be self and the action that we're going to perform is going to be equal to the actions performed within this function. So we simply say hashtag selector and our selector is going to be add annotation to which uh, we pass our long press gesture recognizer. So as you can see, we don't actually pass a, a value here. We do it uh, or, or we don't explicitly say it that it should pass it, but we simply let it say, uh, we simply don't put anything in here. And as a result, when uh, this uh, recognizer calls this function, it also uh, passes this gesture recognizer that we then can um, do something with right here. So we are not actually passing it a variable or constant. Our long press gesture recognizer is doing it for us. The next step now is to just set the duration. Long press gesture recognizer dot uh, minimum press duration. And I'm just going to set that to 2.0 seconds for now, which is going to be the time the user has to hold down in order for this function right here to be called. And then we add the gesture by saying my Matthew dot add gesture recognizer and our recognizer is long press gesture recon. Let's just take a look at what our problem is right here. And that's of course, because we need two equal signs. So there we go. That should do it. And now I'm going to launch this on my iPhone seven and see what we've got so far. So here I have my map and I'm going to tell when I'm touching, I'm touching now. And that took about two seconds before we placed the annotation. And as you can see, I can go on and I can go on and place as many annotations as I want to. But the important thing here is to uh, remember that we specified how long the user has to hold down before we perform a certain action. And that's really the essence behind the long press gesture recognizer. It's delaying uh, the response uh, and basing it off of a certain requirement of seconds uh, that we need to wait in order before we perform the action. Or I'm just going to leave it at that. And thank you for watching this video. Also, if you enjoyed it, make sure that you click the subscribe button down below so that I can see you back in the next video. Other than that, thank you for watching.